next, ah, uh, yes, a welterweight title fight between Jorge Masvidal and Johnny Hendricks. championship fight. Masvidal is five years the elder. He is two inches taller. He will have a five inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Steve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dallas, Texas, USA. Introducing the challenger, Johnny Big Rig. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 13 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Jorge. UFC belt online. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in the change that. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his feet for a while. Oh, takes it from behind. What a fantastic takedown. Oh, 
and he escapes up. To Shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. So just over 20 total Quick strikes. Quick entry. Nice hit. single leg entry. Rotates the head outside to a high crotch. Oh, oh my God. He switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Game Greg gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice body kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And able to land that kick to the chin. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Unable to connect with the right. Nice leg kick there by Johnny Hendricks. Go, 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 go. Oh, you! Oh! Go get him! And we'll get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Look at that great work for the body from the plate. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh! Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Nice. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready? You ready? All right, round two. Big punch land. Nice straight punch there. It must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Look at that leg. If your opponent has... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent that's very bad. Oh, straight right. Nice head kick. As he gets close. Now on a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crunch. Take it for Fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Formier Express. <laughs> Hendricks gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Trying the flying knee there. Straight right is there. Well, the octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest. Oh! He's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Postured up there, gained some valuable separate. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Attack an arm bar. Nicely done. Oh, man. This ground and pound 
as good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land him. This fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the message from the corner, and now he is taking oh! over. tonight just before the end of that round a huge shot that drops his opponent and ultimately spells the end of the fight the referee jumps in there furiously to stop the fight that is a crazy crazy knockout just at the end of the round has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has going to stop for this contest. At four minutes, 41 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout and...